Now, let's get down to what we see you do on race day. We only see you a couple times. We see you in driver introductions. Do any guys give you like a fancy handshake now that they've seen you enough times? Yeah. Like, hey, Mark, how are you doing? No, I mean, everyone's pretty professional, so no, nothing too crazy. But what I have noticed is um, Kyle Petty does not shake with his right hand. So say you're me and you're standing right here and the drivers come this way. Instead of shaking with his right hand, he always shakes with his left hand. Always. It's kind of, you know, a random fact I picked up. He had a wrist injury uh, about two years ago. Right. Yeah, right wrist. That explains yeah. it. And he likes road course racing, so he wants to make sure he can shift. Yeah, make sure he doesn't hurt his hand during that handshake. So. When it comes to the glorious life you lead, you also get showers unknowingly by the crew guys who love you, with Gator and Victor Lane. How do you prevent your hair from getting all soppy and wet when they uh, douse you and Victor Lane? It's all in good fun. It's made my hair really shiny. The only thing that I'm afraid of is um, during Victory Lane when they're throwing beers or Gatorade, I'm scared them to get knocked in the head. I know one of these days I'm going to get nailed in the head on TV. Like, Ooh. Would anyone mind if I talk to Jimmy Johnson's crew and make sure this is possible? Because we can make history. You can review your forecast and what could happen hey, tomorrow afternoon. You never know. No, I, mean, he, I mean, if he wins, I mean, it's going to go down in history three in a row. Do we have any Jimmy Johnson fans out there? One. <laughs> I know there's got to be junior fans out here, too. Woo! Junior Nation. I see uh, Denny Hamlin over there. What about Carl Edwards? He's off the market. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Any Casey Kane ladies? Oh, we got a gentleman. It's so, <laughs> it's so funny because all the ladies wear the Casey Kane outfits. And you know they. Don't take it personal. He's a cool dude. He owns a sprint car, right? He's yeah. Cold. But he's got those blue eyes, so the ladies love him. I had a gal once on pit road here in Phoenix. She was, I was walking on pit road as the drivers were coming out, and the fans had access here to pit road like an hour before the, the race. And she was sitting on pit wall, and she said, please do me a favor. When you see Casey walk by, stop him and ask him to drop his sunglasses down. They just want to check out those baby blue eyes. Yeah. Ladies, don't you think he's pretty handsome? <laughs> Woo! So. You have no influence over who you root for, though, right? Just based on the looks, you know, Casey. No, I mean, I actually like Martin Truex. There's not a big Martin Truex following, but I'm a big fan of him. He's a pretty cool dude. He's pretty laid back. Very, very chill. Very laid back. But Good sponsor, because I imagine you fried your fish for, like, days and not worry about it. <laughs> Absolutely. But, I mean, I think he has a lot of potential, and I, I just want to see him get up there and talk to him. So. How has it been different for you as being Mrs. Sprint Cup all season long? Everybody gets all wound up when it comes to the chase. Has it changed any responsibilities for you in these final 10 races? Uh, not really. Everything's just been more intense. Like, victory lane is very intense. We have to have everything down to an art. But um, pretty much it's just exciting. The chase is so exciting. We only have two more races left. So, I mean, we're getting down to the end of the season here. So everyone's kind of focusing on the end of the season and next year, too. So. Now, Monica, when it comes to your duties here today, you're going to be in the fan midway area at the Sprint Fan Zone. And then you're going to be inside the track for driver instructions tomorrow. And then Victory Lane. Yeah. Does it happen to be where someone has a schedule for you, or are you pretty much on your own where you need to be? Well, yeah. I mean, I normally get a schedule beforehand, but something like today, you know, I just got a call, hey, you're going to be here this time. So you just kind of fly by the seat of your pants, or if there's a driver that comes out to the Sprint Experience, I kind of do what you do. Sprint and Experience, I, excuse me. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, I moderate the Q&As with the drivers when they come out there, so that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, I think Richard Petty's going to be in Miami, but... For this weekend, they haven't surprised me yet with a driver out there. The coolest thing about the King Richard Petty is he raced out here. If you're not aware, this is the 20th year that NASCAR Spring Cup Series has raced in PIR. But prior to that, Richard Petty raced in one of the events here in 1977. That was a NASCAR West Series race. So in terms of history, the King's been coming out here, so that'd be kind of cool if you, if you remember those oh, days, yeah. and racing against Herschel McGriff and all these guys in the West Coast. He would come out here and just kind of... Give you some fodder here. Yeah, no, thank you. I'll have to remember that. But what I'm so, I used to live out in uh, California. I love the West Coast. So it's good to see all these race fans out here because racing's always been more of an East Coast thing. And now that it's finally migrating out, it's so exciting to see it out here. So is everybody from Phoenix or where's everyone from out here? Texas, Utah, California, Colorado. Where are you guys from out there? Nebraska. See, so it's really cool. Everyone's traveling around, you know, to check out the NASCAR scene, which is very nice. So you get a whole, whole different crowd then. Yeah, it's a completely different crowd out here, especially when you go to the race, um, like in the Infineon Raceway. I mean, it's a completely different crowd out there. Your hometown, I love it out there. 
team on a guy. I hope they come out with a Miss Brick Up costume for next Halloween. That would be awesome. He went cool. My daughter said awesome. she'd love to do that. <laughs> Hi, Lydia. What are you? What are you? I miss Brick Up. Folks. That'd be awesome. That'd be really cool. Put some royalties out with that, could you? <laughs> we'll try. That could maybe, you know, launch your fashion career. Okay, we could do something with that. Well, thank you guys for having me. Hope Would you, you guys enjoyed it. Would you like to come out for a few minutes and maybe some, uh, some folks want to get a picture with you, perhaps? Sure. All right. The coolest Miss Brick Up ever, Monica Palumbo. Thank you, Monica. Thanks for having me, guys. Uh, Monica will be here for a few minutes. We'll have to have a, uh, grab a picture with her. That'd be great. Uh, why don't we do it maybe uh, over on this side of the stage, perhaps?